see you made quick work of those oozes. Pretty nifty work, Concord. Quite fitting for a new guardian to settle there. The lighthouse. We originally built it for the guardians to return from their voyage. All the architects of the grove came here to build the outpost. A lot of work went into producing that much light. Of course, it doesn't get much these use these days. The sea folk wore out the place waiting for the guardians to return. One hundred straight nights of light piercing through the sky. Like we had made our own star. If only the voyage turned out better. The summer bar deserves a light that burns forever. <laughs> anyway, there's still a lot of work to be done. I cleared the overgrowth last night. Let's head over to the Vista Outpost. I'll see you there, at the center. One thing I do wish that this game had, very specifically, mm. was like permanent goals that I could specifically work towards. Safety rails around the outpost are worn down. I need sandstone. Oh. But like, um, I, I really wish it was just like, hey, here's like a long-term project to get the lighthouse lit up. Mm -hmm. Um, And I'm sure we'll get the quest for it. But it would be really nice if, like, we almost get to a location. It's like, here are 20 permanent projects that have, like, permanent up upgrades. Yeah. Uh, and if you complete them, it gets you goodies. Wait, is Luna a jellyfish thing? Yep. They're the sea folk. I know they'll come back. They have to. Are you okay out here alone? Oh, worried for me, are you? Must be new here. I'm okay waiting here. I feel like someone has to. Don't worry. It's safe here. Even the rot choose not to linger long in quiet shore. Ooh. Ooh got kind of choppy. Cripes. Wow. Let's see if I can just leave. Okay. It's a little messy, but we'll see. Is that the cactus that runs the shop? Guess so. Looks like he just sells healing items, though. Oh, those are the railings. Mm -hmm. Saguaro may be a greenling, but the sea folk depend on them when it comes to life on land. Even now, they adjust to life here. They work hard to maintain their environment. Must be a new little guardian. Fuji told me all about your developments in the hamlet. It's enriching to have a guardian enter our town again. Our people will be happy to know you're here. I hope the summer bar is more welcoming than overwhelming for you. Fuji assures us that you're exactly what we needed for our recent problems. Pity you couldn't just enjoy your time here, I assure you. If it weren't for the rot, the region is quite relaxing. Ever since my first visit, I have whiled away so much time on the breezy shores here. I mean, good thing. I wouldn't have learned to become an architect. I was hoping that Guardian Plum would undertake this quest. But considering the last time they were here, oh, it's probably best that you're here instead. I'm sure you were chosen by Plum with good reason, but this task will still be dangerous. Our own architect, Woody, went west to Lilyput a few days ago. The frogs there like to keep to themselves, but we were hoping some unity would solve our mutual problems. However, tensions have slow bit the slowly been growing between us since the waterlog became overrun with oozes. Bot has it taken up residence, cutting into our resources. It's an easy it's an understatement to say that we're stretched thin. And without Woody to maintain our town, the outpost will fall further into ruin. Not on our watch, Saguaro. Now we're both here to help. Right, luckily Fuji has been helping out. But we're still struggling. Help us sort some things out, and we'll be sure to provide Fuji with everything they need for their return to the hamlet. Oh, did you see that face? Uh-huh. Little cat face. Wait, on him or On her? him. Oh. It was the one with the little double loop huh. W mouth. I guess it wasn't paying full attention. I've marked your map with the things you should start with. I help the sea folk adjust to life here, and I'll do the same for you. 
A bit of adjustment to be had, especially for a Hamlet dreamling. So if you're going to stay here for a while, you will have to learn our way. First thing you want is a dowsing rod. Head northeast to Summer's End, and Koki can help you out. Koki. Without a dowsing rod, you won't be able to gather half of what Summer Bar offers. Yep, see? Aww. Thanks for coming over, Guardian Concord. We're glad to have you here. That's a cute face. It is a cute face. Alright. So this just lets me buy things. I don't care about hats. Is that really. a human or what are they? They seem to be tipping their hair up. Oh, I need a seed patch for that. Pollen. Hmm? Oh, they might be like a jelly creature. Thank you for visiting my shop, Greenling. Glad to have, glad to have another friend of the outpost. You can offload some stuff I'm buying if you're selling. Well, that's not worth... Oh. What about the spray bottle, though? Oh, pocket file. Does that give you another jar? Uh... Next row? Maybe. Oh. Look at your inventory. Yeah, that's the pocket file. Oh, yeah. Size 2, speed 4. Well, those are your dew jars. Maybe you need to put something in it, too. Oh, I see. It won't let me assign it. This one. <sighs> Weird. Oh, well. Oh, it's a clam! It's like a little clam creature. Oh, so is that the flesh coming out the bottom? Yeah. Welcome, Greenling. Friend of Fuji's, I assume? Well, your partner is... Wait, it has a really deep voice, doesn't it? Well, your partner is busy with the rest <laughs> of the summer bar. Our forge is unfortunately still broken. I don't suppose you'd want to bring a few succulents for me to reseal its seams. Get it or don't, I don't... I suppose... It's not like we're strangers to struggle. I just want to see if the new guardian is worth their salt. Favor accepted. How many? Pull ten items from the ocean. Take right. the dowsing rod. Alright. Let's see, I'm just gonna keep looking around. Where's the dowsing rod again? Over there. I thought... No, those boxes never have anything. There was a clam over there. Yeah, I'll get to it in a second. I thought there was a storage box around here that I can pull some things out of. Yeah, there it is. I'm gonna suppose we probably don't have enough of that. Yeah, so we'll just pick up the favor. Oh, and there's another one right there. We've got this guy. Uni. This so is Uni is an, a sea urchin. Yeah, yeah. Might want to be careful around these parts. You don't have a nice protective shell like me. But the rats sure do. You won't break their shells with your feeble spring weapons. A sea folk grow very strong shells. I... I'm stuck? I am stuck. Oh. I think you can just hop over that barrier by the looks of it. Okay. I was worried. You want to look out for any rot taking refuge in old shells. Villagers may de shell them using the dowsing rod. Oh, so you need a dowsing rod. Yep. Oh, yeah, look. They are wearing shells like hermit crabs. Or yeah. snails. What's this guy? Oh, he's a cephalopod. Sorry, Greenling, the water log is off limits. Our guardians are gone and a terrible beast lies down there. I see a cigar's blessing, I'm not letting you through. I think Nautiluses are really cute. Do you remember... What was the zoo that we went to that had Nautiluses? The Boston Aquarium. The Boston Aquarium has yeah. them? Yeah, they had just a couple. But it was they were they were cool. I think I was actually blown away at the time because I didn't realize that there 
they still exist? <laughs> there were a lot of animals you assume didn't exist. Yeah, like coelacanths. The, like the narwhals. Yeah, also that. Oh, you there. So. Sakara said you could come help me. Yeah, that's great. But first I can use your help. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just a few steps north. I'm trying to preserve that dam from flooding the place. Take this thing and go pull up some of those underwater levers. Dowsing rod, get. Aha! It is a weapon. So you I can fish now. Oh, so you need to grab that one over there. Oh! You just need to lift up multiple of them. Oh, I see. Okay, well, water flow restored. Let's get the favor from this guy. Hagu. I do greenling in the summer bar. Just delightful. Come, come, you must tell me about yourself. My name's Concord. Oh, ho, ho, the guardian grape from Spring Hamlet, no doubt. The arrival of, guardian, of a guardian is most auspicious indeed. I haven't had a Guardian visit in quite some time, not since the Guardians all sailed off. I wish I could greet your arrival properly. I mean, I would perform a greeting for you, but I've misplaced my fruit. We used to make them out of materials from Autumn Town. Old, hollowed pith roots. A breezy place that, like that. The plants know how to play a nice note. Now, we can't get anything from there these days. The trade routes belong to the rot, after all. If you could get your hands on, say, four pith roots, I could make a new fruit. I'd love to share a song with you. Grove knows the summer bar could use one. Oh, that one's gonna have to wait for a while. I do like how they have the towns based off the seasons. Yeah. This is silly. I like this fishing minigame. This is quite possibly probably one of my favorite I've ever experienced. You so you just have to click on the right Direction and sequence? Is that what it is? Yeah. And that's it. Nothing nothing fancy. Oh, and I can snag the items. And you can really just use the fishing rod as a ranged weapon? Yep. So they do heal themselves, but it ain't much. I really wish it wouldn't do like the, you got a meat, uh, mint leaflet. It's like, no, no, I don't need to see that anymore. Yeah, so I think- That one healed itself before you could But only it again. a bit. I think they only heal one for every two that I do. Mm-hmm. It's not the most efficient. But it's safe. I don't think I'm actually going to put a whole lot of effort into it. Yep. Oh. Oh, it needs damage of a different type. A type that we actually don't have. Okay, so they want me to pull things out of the sea. And so that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, I usually hate fishing minigames just because they seem just really frustrating. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of extra work. And usually timing based. This is just like, yeah, just don't mess up. What's up, Concord? Good day for browsing, eh? You need anything from me? Teach me how to douse. Dowsing's really simple. Just look for the dark spots in the water. Hold the dowsing rod back and let it fly over the spot. Most things are lodged in the sand, so you'll need to jiggle, jiggle it around before it unhooks. Each region has different things to find underwater. I like sticking here because the sea folk love buying up the shells I find. I'll bat around here and I'm sure they'll want to lend some leaflets your, your way to. I go into any of these. Nope. Alright, well. I guess we just make our exit. 
Yep. Now that you have the dowsing rod, you can go back to the cactus, yeah. right? I really want to do a video at some point. Oh. What? Did you just take a photograph? I... maybe. It sounded like one. I guess so. Uh, I really want to do a video at some point ranking video games based on their fishing minigame. Because, <laughs> like... Or would you just write about the fishing minigame? Um, I, I would do both, probably. But I think it would be easy to do a ranking a, a game by the fishing minigame. Because at, at this point... There are tons of games with fishing games. Correct. I I would, mean, it wouldn't be every game. Some of the oldest that I can think of would be, I mean, obviously, the I would just Zelda be, games. I would grab probably the most notable ones, like the Zelda games. Uh, Zelda, Stardew Valley, Final Fantasy XV. I mean, um, you even have, remember Okami? And yeah. how I had to do the one for yep. you? Yeah. But, you know, we just come up with a list of, like, fishing games bad and good and just kind of talk about them idly. Because I want to do a number of video essays that really get deep into a thing, but I also want to just do a number of video games that are like, um, or not not video essays, but just videos that are kind of the content of a video essay, but a lot more informal. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we just sit down in front of a couple of games, watch the fishing mini game while we talk about it, and maybe a couple of them we actually have to do some research for. Like for the Final Fantasy one, I'd have to actually sit down and do the fishing mini game for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because even that one game that we had played with the paper stuff, even that had a fishing mini game in it. Which one? Oh. Uh the the really quick one? Yeah. With the cat? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't exactly call that a fishing mini game. There was definitely a fishing You're mini right. There was fishing as part of it, but like a fishing mini game is more than just it was well, more that, like that one, a fishing puzzle as part of a puzzle game. That, that was, you had to make sure that you only reeled it in so much, but then also could let the hook drop enough so that it would get to precisely the creatures See, my, that you wanted. My thing is, though, my criteria for a fishing minigame is that it is like a long-term substantive. You have to have a reeling in mechanic? No, not that. It's like it has to be a long-term substantive thing that you do often for a, a tang tangible reward. But isn't that just a repetitive minigame? Yes. Where, whereas, like a, because I suppose that's like saying WarioWare has a fishing mini game of, in it. Like, of uh, course it does, mm -hmm. but you're not lingering on on it enough. Okay, so something that's scattered throughout the game and you do it multiple times. Yeah, because otherwise it it feels kind of cheap. Yeah, because with things like Legend of Zelda, you had the bomb chew courses, the races, the archery segments, the fishing. But, like, the fishing was a substantive thing that had, like, an area that you went to to do it. It wasn't just that it was like, and mm -hmm. you fish in this one segment here. Yeah. Kind of, uh, Okami was more like a fishing set of side quests than a minigame. Because did we ever really have to fish? You did it multiple fish? times. We did do it multiple times, but it was for a quest chain as opposed to, like, something you just load up. I don't know. Please tell me you've come with the materials I require. A town without a working forge has risked every worker here. Got him. Really give him here. Great work. I'll start applying this immediately. I knew you'd help. It'd be a great help the moment I laid my eyes on you. Thanks for the materials. Come back later and I'll have the forge set up. I don't know. Are you going to the cactus? Uh, no, we don't have anything to do with... I gotta keep fishing to uh, qualify. I just wanted to dip some resources. Oh, we don't have a library here yet, do we? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Just whenever you're touching your face, I have to uh, at least I'm just ascertain. Because, you know, sometimes when you're touching your face, you're super tired and want to go to bed. Mm, I could start getting to that point. Remember, I got less sleep than you did. Yeah, I did take a nice nap. I just... I really want to have somewhat of a backlog for everything. Because, mm -hmm. like, I'm not kidding when I say, like, one to two games that I, I seriously want to do series on are coming out every single day. Because, um, like, today was Humankind, tomorrow is Mortal Shell. Hey, 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 hey. Let's focus on this game. I mean, yes.
Have you ever touched a jellyfish? Yes, stepped on one. Sucks. Oh, you stepped on? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I suppose I poked one on the head, but that was because my cousin had caught it in a bucket. Yeah, if you remember, I stepped on it, freaked out because I th thought I got stung, and peed on my own foot in hopes of, like... <laughs> oh, that was that story. Yeah. Because you were told that... Is it, is it a wives' tale or is it real? I don't know, but I peed on my foot. <laughs> I mean, I needed a pee, so it wasn't so bad, but it was just kind of, like, weird. <laughs> like, as far as weird home remedies for... Have you ever seen the people that they get stung by jellyfish and they have just lines of scars all yes. over them? Yep. Though, are those from the Man of Wars? I don't know. I know Man of Wars are way worse. Right, but I know that there are some people that get the bad Man of War scars if they survive. Man of Wars are just weird. They're cool looking, but the whole premise of them is that. Do you know that they're made of multiple different types of organisms? Hmm. Where there's the big sac thing that keeps them afloat on the surface, but then the tendrils and the feeding apparatus and everything else are different organisms and things. Mm -hmm. Some kind of giant symbiotic creature. I mean, technically... In I a, commented on this on the other day, but technically so are we. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a lot of microorganisms living inside of us. I mean, even even then, like, our cells are kind of separate entities. Mm -hmm. They're just slightly more dependent on the whole system to survive. Yeah, it's interesting when you think about just how little your brain actually controls of your body. Yeah. I mean, it controls quite a lot. It's just a matter of, like, How much do we have access to? Yeah, how much do we have intentional control over? Because we have control over thought, but not the kind of thought that would be required for micro-calculations for, say, balance and stuff. Yeah. Though, we have some control over how we balance. So I mean, there are some kind things of that do. are reflex. You can, you can definitely tell that, like a person, for example, that needs prosthetics, will have to retrain themselves to have those micro, uh, mm -hmm. micro adjustments just kind of naturally. Oh, this is open now. But for instance, when... Oh, is this the library? Oh. Or is the visitor center? Ah! A visitor in the visitor center? I mean, hello there, nice to meet you. This is the Summer Bar Visitor Center. It's been a bit since we've had actual visitors, so I'm sorry if the place is a mess. We've had some issues with the paper bark, but it seems to be accepting samples again. Need some resources? Well, well, it's fine. You can if you want to, but most seafolk aren't interested in reading. An empty visitor center with no tourists can get depressing. And it's not like I'm doing a very good job as a scribe right now. I can't lie, it's quite boring here. If you have the time, could you go bug that guard next to the waterlog? If Saguaro's gonna let me out of my library duties, I'll need a tool to use. I heard Seth had a, pair, a spare parasol. I want to work with my hands, not watch an empty building all day. Not like anyone comes here. I think the w was work, but then they're like, watch the building. Mm -hmm. okay. But no, so, no, it's just amazing that we really only have true control over some of our thoughts, our words our intentional movements as in our limbs and such and that's not what we're acting out of reflex the one that interests me i guess to some degree is like how much subconsciously we are affected by various things um so like i've been reading up on burnout a little bit i mean mm -hmm. a lot mm -hmm. i guess kind of here i mean there. there are probably stress reactions oh, yeah. to heat to smells to sounds Things of that nature. The things that cause involuntary responses. Yeah. 
but it's just like be distressing. I I always like to think of myself as like relatively in control of my own actions, and then when I'm like burning out, I realize that like nope. No, if I if I ever come off as like excessively irritable, honestly, so much of it is probably external to something else as opposed to like an immediate, like me reacting to you or oh, like I a know. video game. Because I know I know for example you. Uh, I tend to shut down. Yeah. I was also going to say, like, you driving uh, earlier was very much just kind of like you were mad. Oh, uh, see me? That. Yeah. Well, that's because there are some wackos on the road. Or do you mean when I was saying, get off the phone? Uh, no, no, no. When you were swearing at the other drivers. <laughs> like, I know they're wackos. <laughs> when, I, when I used the darn, the, that kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, no, you were... <laughs> You were well, going way more dire than darn. No, I mean, it was like, I I like to use damnation, not with yeah, the shun at the end, but... But, no, you, when you're mad when you're driving, you're just going, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> there is there is no finesse to your swearing oh. when you're driving. Whoa. Oh, that's that's quite the fishing sequence. Ooh. So the thing is, I really don't like seeing people be rude and you know break the rules, swerve. There's also just timing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes there's an opening, but ju and you go, oh yes, yes, I can make this difficult left turn before the light prevents me from going. Except then some person swerves out of a nearby side road and comes right into your path and you can't turn anymore. Do you, do you understand what I mean? Yeah. Especially when you've been waiting for a long time and you go, ah, I was so close, but... And you, and you see, I'm a cautious driver, so I don't like gunning it and swerving out in front of things. I prefer to wait until I know I have enough time. And thank goodness people around here are a little bit more understanding if you're slow going, you know, taking turns and other things. Because if you're back out around Boston, they'd be honking at you. It's true. Because there'll be the people that honk at you going, hey, you could have taken a turn there. Hey. And you go, no, I. That would not have I, been safe. I, that isn't very safe. Maybe you could have made that turn, you know, putting the pedal to the metal, but I'm not that kind of turner. Looking for, looking a little salty for a grape at least. <laughs> the sea folk tell me you've been a great help. I know we do things a bit different than Spring Hamlet. How does it feel so far? It's a breeze. That's good to hear. I think summer bar suits you. But, but I know you'll be heading back to Spring Hamlet in due time. You've already been a great help. But there's something we can only ask of you. I've been filling in for some for the local architect, Woody. It's hard work to be done. As you know, Woody left for Lilyput some time ago to secure resources for the outpost. Yet they haven't returned. And though I find it hard to believe, some here suspect Woody is being held there. Certain citizens in Lilyput have always been rude to us, harassing the sea folk constantly. Would it be a stretch for them to keep Woody as a prank? Grove knows Pagu has suffered at their hands enough. Or for they may be more amicable to an official guardian. Those frogs are keeping Woody there. You've got to bring them back. Jokes are fine, but the sea folk are having separation issues. Well, that sounds a bit extreme, even for the frogs. I pray it isn't so, of course. They weren't always this suspicious. Time was, Summer Bar's villagers were the most tender people of the Grove. Can you blame us for changing a bit after what we've been through as a community? Woody is precious to us, every villager is, and it's my job to see them return safely. But Fuji is right, this attitude isn't the way to foster good will, which is why we're delegating the matter to you, Concord. 
Mm. You're doing another deep voice, so of course you're yawning. Right now, the village, uh, the bridge to Lily Putt is broken, so you'll need to fix it. Woody could swim, but a greenling? I think not. The workshop is set up for building, thanks to yours truly. Meet me in Quiet Shore when you're ready. I'm sure I can teach you a thing or two about building. Alright, this, this is the important one. Dowsing mechanisms. Is mm. that all I got? I guess that's all I got. Getting tired? Mm -hmm. <sighs> is it the end of the day in game? Uh, I don't think so. Not yet. Nope. Doesn't look to be it. Okay. Do we have five? No, we don't have five shells. Um... Talk to Fuji. Do we have a quest board around here? Vista Outpost, Refridge, Summer's End. There we go, because I think we got to go there. I was really hoping I could get another clip for oh, this game before we were done. done. Another dam was accidentally reactivated. Yeah. It'd be easy. But yeah, I was hoping to get another clip. They wanted two. And I, I know that one with the horror thing was good with the uh, with the eyes. Mm. Maybe something with fishing. May maybe. It's like I can't get over the fact that the fishing is this good. Oops. But it's I I'm not gonna say it's to this game's detriment. Not a lot of it is clip worthy in terms of like haha funny. If mm. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know there. Like, it's, it's just stinking good, but how do you clip just, you know, pleasant and good? Hmm. And I always struggle with that one a little bit. Well, maybe you have to run into the, some more boss monsters. Oh, can't get it. I wish I had reacted to the bookworm better. Mm -hmm. But mostly I was just frustrated. <laughs> okay. I might just send them the, the one I have. Because uh, my problem is, like, I'm not going to say I'm a perfectionist. Because uh, I'm not. But I, I always want to do a good job for the games that I like the most. Mm-hmm. I'm here on Skimmer's behalf. Hmm, if they want to do different work, I guess it wouldn't, couldn't hurt. Visitor has kind of been a mess. I used to go a lot, but nothing's organized, no matter, no matter, I guess. Maybe the change of pace will help Skimmer. Nobody wants to get cooped up too long. <laughs> I was hoping to get rid of those gross shelled rots. But I can spend time working on the parasol instead if you want. Can you please get rid of them? They've been coming out each day to bully me. I mean, I'd be happy to get rid of them as a guard, but I want to make sure the parasol is just right for someone their size. You need my help right now, so it's only fair, right? Favor accepted. Wait, so what is that bizarre coral tree with all of the purple infected coral around it? I mean, that's water log or whatever it's called. That's what we that... have to go down to? On the right? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's. I think that's the dungeon. Hmm. That there's no dungeon inside the... Uh, let's see. There's no dungeon inside... There we go. Oh, boy. That's a lot. Uh... What the heck was that? I just moonwalked away. Ah. <laughs> oh, look at that. You do a spin and a little eye gleam? Yep. Is it a taunt? I don't know how I'm doing that. Why am I doing sick dance moves? Uh, ow. <laughs> but yeah, I think it has something to do with the fishing rod. Maybe it's the fishing rod dodge. Hmm. I I don't I don't know. Let's let me clear clear this. Is it Yeah. Oh. Maybe it's I'm switching. Yeah. There we go. Wait. So when I switch weapons... You do a little swish? I do a little swish. Oh, that's cute. And yeah, if I do it while moving... I originally thought it locked me in place, but no. 
So I can just, I can dance as I move. I'm gonna kill this slime with a fishing rod. No one can stop me. The slime's gonna keep recovering. <laughs> oh, look at its face. I'd feel bad, except for I don't. It's been a bad slime. And now it gets the smackings. 